Tom from LSI Garage. Today we have a 2015 GMC with the 6.6 .6 Duramax diesel in the shop. I want to show you how to install our Franz filter on it today. This kit will come in a box all in pieces like this. To save time, I pre-assembled this filter for you. We have an inch and a half socket for the post seal, an oil filter wrench, a 9 16 half inch, 3 8 wrench, safety glasses and gloves if you choose to. It will come with the cellulose or paper filter installed when you get it and there is a option if you want to get a synthetic filter to go in place of this one. Let's get started. Okay, we're ready to put our filter on. I want to point out that there's an in and an out. The in is in the center. That is the one that goes down to the oil filter. The out goes to the cap for the return. I have it set up to where it fits right above the fuse box. The magnets will go right into place, stick in there. Clips into place. Now what we'll do is we'll route this down between the master cylinder and the frame. Make sure to stay away from the steering linkage and the exhaust. I'll get it down close and then when I get down to the oil filter, I'll be able to get it set up better. Okay, after you get your magnetic base filter in place, tighten up your oil lines so we don't have any leaks. Oil cap comes off. The new cap goes on. Make sure your O-ring's in place. Twist. Tighten this up. Quick connect into place. Take a 9 16 wrench. Tighten up your line. Okay, we're going to go underneath now and I'll show you how to put the adapter sandwich plate on it. Okay, now we're under the truck. We got our tools, our sandwich adapter. Make sure the O-ring's in place. Got our post. So we're gonna pull the old oil filter off. I've already got it loosened up. And got the oil drained so that we don't make a mess on camera here. Make sure that the gasket comes off of the mounting plate up there and stays with your filter. Okay, get your oil, oil up your ring, your O-ring. Now's a good time to start your line. This is the line that come down from your filter. This is the in line that I was telling you about earlier. Get it started, snugged up. Push it into place, and then we'll have our post seal in here. Once everything's in place, kind of pivot the sandwich adapter around to where there's no kinks in your line. Keep it clear of the exhaust. Take your inch and a half socket, go into your post seal, snug it up, put one hand on the sandwich adapter so it doesn't turn while you're tightening it up just like that. Then your oil filter, right back on that. And tighten your filter as per manufacturer's directions.
9 16 wrench. Tighten your oil line on your sandwich adapter. Okay, we're ready to let it down and check for leaks. Okay, we have our truck on the ground now. I'm gonna go ahead and start it, check for leaks. Everything looks good, no leaks. Make sure to double check it, keep your eye on it. Check your oil after you've ran it for a few minutes and let it sit. It might require another quart or half quart of oil. Thanks for watching our videos.